Welcome back to yours truly, Ms. Anita. Hope you had a fabulous weekend and I pray this week will be prosperous or at best, a productive one. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and if you have time leave a comment. If you are already subscribed to my channel then I just want to say again, thank you. If you haven't subscribed then all I ask is that you take a chance with me and hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the all bell for every video or live stream that I produce. Thank you. Hey, how is everybody doing today? Welcome back to another video of yours truly, Miss Anita. That would be me. <laughs> if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> so, what do I want to talk about? Because that's always an issue every time I sit down to do a video, unless I really have something on my mind. And basically, oh, first of all, let me talk about my hair. I'm a little... Okay, so it didn't look like this earlier. I actually flat ironed my hair last night. And as you can tell, they really the ends need to be trimmed really, really bad. So I'll probably have, whenever I go and uh, go to one of these little cheap places where I can get uh, my ends trimmed, it'll probably be much shorter. I got to get my hair to start growing. I remember telling you all that it broke out in the back. Well, it's still breaking out in the back. And... I'm not sure why, probably because I'm not really taking care of my hair like I should. Um, and ironically, when I was putting my own relaxers in, I know we were all getting away from relaxer chemicals and stuff, but when I was doing my own hair, my hair was actually healthy. So I keep teeter tiring back and forth if I want to go back to that or not. I think the only thing that stops me is because I do like wearing my hair natural sometimes. But I do know some of it was more manageable when I had the relaxer in my hair. Plus, I would let my hair lapse longer than what they do the professional salons because I let my new growth come in a little bit more. Um, I think that helped kept my hair healthier. I went to let, and when I did go to the salon, which was every like six months, uh, she would tell me that your hair is in pretty good condition for you to take care of your own hair, which I definitely consider that a compliment. But since I've been doing this natural style in the last four or five, however long I've been doing it, it's been some years. I don't know, maybe it's because of the upkeep, the maintenance on it is a lot more than what I bargained for. So yeah, I'm, I'm still on the fence or I'm still going back and forth as do I want to go back to relax or not. Uh, but I do need to get it trimmed because it's there. The ends are badly damaged. They're free. And I try to do it myself, but I don't, obviously don't do as good of a job. I actually had curls in my hair earlier. Uh, my son took. We went to the park. He took some pictures of me, which I'll try to insert one or two in in there. Which was a really nice sunny day, but it was hot. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a little bit cooler, but it was warm out, and it was with my granddaughter, so they was able to play on the play, in the play area, and then my son took a few pictures here and there. Uh, he took, actually, quite a few pictures, but he wants to edit the rest of them, so I said, well, can you just at least shoot me about two or three of them over, and so I can post it. <laughs> Uh, and the wind was blowing, so that messed up my hair even more. Whatever moisture, humidity that was in the air, as you can tell, all my curls dropped. <laughs> I mean, I have nothing. No curls, no nothing. <laughs> but anyway. Um, 
Oh, the purpose of him taking the photo shoot for me because I've decided that I am going to try um, online dating. <laughs> now, I know some people are very like, okay, are for it. Some people are not. Again, I'm on the fence, but I feel like I need to do something. I am 65 years old. I am blessed to live this long. I've had siblings that are gone that didn't make it this far. So I'm looking at however long I'm going, God will allow me to be here on the face of this earth. And whatever years that I have left here, I'd like to spend it with someone special. I do want to be in a serious relationship. I would like for him to put a ring on it so we can get married. I want to settle down. I've been single or I've been divorced, but I don't even consider divorce. It's been so many years. I've been by myself for a long, long time. As I shared with you guys before, my granddaughter's about to go to school. My mom has since, you know, passed on back in 2020. And something is telling me I need to do something urgent or something and I need to make a big leap here, a leap of faith. Um, there are several sites on the website. I checked them out like, oh my God, it's too many to kind of pick from. So I'm going to narrow it down to maybe three. And I will, I, I wonder sometimes, when you do the free option, because usually I know as I remember with eHarmony, what they do is they set you up. You see some guys on it you like, you click on there and say you would like to talk to them, and then they tell you like, oh yeah, if you pay this X amount of dollars, then you can make that connection. I'm just summing it up in my own words, right? So they lure you in that way. Either that, you just I guess you just won't be meeting them. <laughs> but um, and there may be a lot of them that's like that now. So I guess I better get a few little dollars put to the side because. I'm very serious about this. I'm very serious about this. Uh, change is going to come. <laughs> and I'm just trusting God that give me the wisdom to sift through, you know, the guys, the ones that really in earnest and really want a serious relationship. You know, you got some people will say they want a serious relationship just to lure you in, only for it to go a different direction. I'm believing for people who really want to be in a serious relationship. Now, I left it open for anybody, so um, I'm leaving my options <laughs> wide open, so let's see what happens in the days, weeks to come. Can you all lift me up in prayer, please? Uh, I again I'm very nervous about this I have not been on a date for uh, a while I have not been in a serious relationship <laughs> even further for a good little while so it's a little scary when you you know trying to find the right person or open your heart or try to get to know them, them get to know you to see if, if you guys have any compatibility because I may not be compatible for them as as well as they may not be compatible for me. I'm hoping I can narrow it down and we can make that connection. So yeah, that's what the goal is. I just, some things in life are just eye opening and you find yourself in a different place and I want to spend my life in a good relationship, a healthy relationship, um, you know, be able to do things, go out to dinner, go to movies, theaters, even travel. You know, I've never really been traveling. I've never, I've only been on the airplane once, one time, me and my ex-husband. We flew down to, I think it was Atlanta. That's back in the 80s, in the 80s. It's 2022. And, and going to Atlanta is what, an hour flight, hour and a half tops maybe. 
I haven't been on an airplane since. <laughs> so, and I haven't really been to many places. Tennessee, I drove to Tennessee. I drove back to Atlanta. I've been to Chicago, but I never really saw much of Chicago. Me and my son and, and his friend, that was a weekend situation that was a fiasco, but we won't get into that. That was years ago. So, I want to see some things before I leave this earth. I want to share my life with someone. I want to be able to travel, see the sights, build a home, and enjoy each other's company and grow together in love, continue to grow in God, and be a blessing to others. That's my desire. And hopefully, you'll see him on YouTube with me. If not all the time, sometimes will be joining me. <laughs> so that is what's going on on my end. And I just want to say hello. I promise you all a video Monday. So here I am. I hope that you all had a nice, enjoyable weekend. I hope it was at best relaxing. You had a chance to take it easy or maybe do some fun things that you wanted to do or hang out with family or friends. But something, he was just watching a good movie. Oh, by the way, speaking of movies, this Wednesday uh, is going to be um, The Lake House. That is the movie of choice for movie review. And then the song that I selected is by Rascal Flatts, uh, Won't Let Go. I love that song. That could be a spiritual song. It could be for a significant other, your husband or wife. It's a beautiful song, so we're going to go over the words with that. It's called won't, I Won't Let Go by Rascal Flatts. It's, he's a country singer. And then I'm trying to prep and get ready for Saturday for Second Chance Singles Club. So hopefully you guys will come out for that. Uh, with that, uh, I have a special guest. Well, he's been here several times, Mr. Brent who has his own very well-known and popular channel. Okay, my daughter, is, my granddaughter is in my room and I can hear the TV set all the way out here. I hope it's not disturbing you guys, but I can hear it. Okay, so yes, he has his channel, Roadrunner89 Investment, and we're going to talk about the power couple. Yes, he often talks about it, black women, with white men, white men who love and marry, yes, I said, marry black women. Turns out, it's a really powerful group of people. <laughs> and we're going to discuss that a little bit more in depth. And, you know, maybe I'm sure others will have their point of view concerning that. I know I certainly have my thoughts and I'm looking forward to having Mr. Brent back. So yeah, you guys come out Saturday night and we're still going to have uh, the game section. Uh, Name That Tune will be one of the games and the other game is Taboo, which uh, my co-host will be Miss Josie, who's going to be my co-host for the entire duration of the program. And um, what else? Oh, and I'm going to do, I do sports sections here and there. Uh, so we're going to go into the NFL games. I'm trying to find a video that's not too long because they're doing, I think they've already have had their drafts, the first draft. But some of the videos that I've found is too long. And I'm trying to find something. Uh, I may have to find like a fantasy uh, football guys that give their commentary so I may have to do that but I have some slideshows so I can show that in the games that are coming up you guys if you don't know the schedule I'm sure the ones that's already into football probably already know oh any of you guys out there I want to say this I'm looking for a guy that's into the sports who can be a good commentator or narrator who, and it won't be a lot, you don't have to worry about staying on for long, but maybe a good 10, 15 minutes, just talk about a little bit of sports for people who are really interested in that. And I, I don't really give it justice. All I can do is find the videos and 
pull the pictures. That's about all I can do. I can't really go. I don't know all the different players and all the different teams. So if there's a guy out there who would be interested, want to step up to the plate, who's willing to, again, you don't have to stay on real long, but you can be my co-host for that particular section, the sports section. And we're getting ready to go into NFL. I've kind of left out of the the um, NBA going into the football segment. So yes, please uh, play a part. <laughs> uh, again, I, I welcome you. So yes, uh, no sh shenanigans, no f uh, foolishness or any kind. I, I, and I believe that you're mature adult uh, men out there who's capable. I don't think I'll have those kind of problems. But yes, if you're out there and you would like to uh, be like a commentator or narrate the video clips or talk a little bit about uh, the sport itself, then please shoot me an email. Yours truly, Miss Anita at gmail.com. That's yours truly, Miss M S Anita at gmail.com. All right, you guys. Well, I do want to thank you all for coming back out to visit me again, talking a little bit about my uh, um, adventure into the world of date. Uh, what is it? What, um, online dating. <laughs> online dating at 65. And I know that there are people that's my age and older. It's just that... This wasn't the, the direction that I had wanted to go. But as I was teasing, I'm thinking, they're not knocking on my door. And it's been a long time. <laughs> so I think I better figure out something else to do. Yeah. That's the conclusion I come up with. I do trust God. I am waiting on the Lord. And even doing this is going to be a trust God and help me to find who would be the right person. Because I'm not just going to pick anybody, you know, and I would expect for them to be selective too. I want someone that's just right for me, that finds me beautiful, treat me like a queen. Uh, There's a lot of beautiful women out there, trust me. I mean, I looked at someone like, okay, I'm not one for competing, <laughs> plus I feel like I'm too old for that now, but if it's a guy out there that don't mind a... Uh, an older woman who would love him and treat him right. Uh, all she asks is that you love her and treat her right. And I'll give you all the love that you deserve. So that being said, I'm going to end this and say thank you guys for coming back out. God bless you all until the next time. Bye-bye. So what's coming up next? Second Chance Singles Club Speak Your Mind Podcast The Way I See It Food for Thought Yours truly, Miss Anita